Welcome back, guys, to Trails of Cold Steel 4, where last episode, boss fights continued one after another as the boys and Sarah took on Copper Georg before Reen, Crow, Duvali, and Selene faced Innes, Anea, and McBurn. With the three groups being held by their respective enemies, they sent members onwards as Reen and New Class 7 passed on by their foes, meeting before the corrupted Valamar and sword at the end as the students stood in his way, resulting in a battle between teacher and pupils, with Selene arriving to help bring back his consciousness with the aid of fragments from his gathered friends. However, our relief at Reen regaining his sense of self has been dampened by the pressure of gathering foes, as with the Blood and Iron Chancellor Gilead Osborne and the Steel Maiden Leanne Sandlot arriving, a multi-sided battle breaks out once again, with New Class 7 facing the two major threats. Then let our dance begin. Ashen Chevalier, young lions of Thor's, it is time for you to show your worth. Oh, we'll show you all right, Granny. Whoa, no need to be so rude. Say that again, and I'll have your head, punk! Focus, and get ready, everyone. We'll optimize our formation around Inspector Reen. I'll handle covering fire arts and orders. Right. Thor's Military Academy Class 7, Special Operations. Engage! Yes, yes sir. This should be amusing. Now come, show us that you have what it takes. I was gonna say, not even a chance to save or like, check out Reed's stuff, I don't know. <laughs> I'm guessing he's changed now after all. Completion requirements, reduce Chancellor Osman or area nodes, the Steel Maidens HP. AP requirements, reduce both Chancellor Osborne and area nodes, the Steel Maidens HP to a certain amount. That's weird. So you can either target one or you can target them both? Yeah. Well, Reen's back and he has orders and more. That was <laughs> so weird. I pressed the attack and the pass at the same moment the big piano course came off, so I thought the things were making new noises. So, they're both before us. We don't have a timer or anything. Of course, we don't know their stats at the moment, but we're level 95. We're still seemingly buffed. So that's nice. Are we always buffed now? Let's check things out. Oh my god, he's got loads! Raging Fire, which of course we know it's only CP plus 8 now because it's only level 1. Or level 0. We got Iron Will, of course. Uh, Silly! <laughs> like, please, where are you? Alright, uh, we've got Raging Fire as BP1, Iron Will as BP2. That's our damage reduction, so we could use that as the same thing. We've got Magic No Cast Time, Divine Song. Which would help if I had, like, for example, Muse and Altina in the group all together. And Gold Dragon with a critical on the insight on 5 BP. Who's in the group currently? The original three? It's not terribly bad. And we've got two in a CP for everyone, so that's not bad either. He's about to attack first. And it's half HP is the green. I guess we're not going to keep getting CP all the time here. Ah, they're close enough together and it's a critical, so I may as well go for that. And I'm critting anyway. Let's just get in there and helix. Roar. Though I'd love to get the insights. <gasps> uh, helix strike! <clears throat> it's down! I'll assist! <clears throat> yeah. 148 damage. All right. Not bad. I mean, not great either. Alright, so... Put him in hell! Okay, so half of his HP... So... Reading that initial text, if we decrease one of their HPs to half, the battle's over. But to get bonus AP, I have to reduce both of their HPs to half. But he's got so much more HP, which means I have to focus everything on him and not and try to not hit her, while obviously things will hit her. Okay. Hmm. 
my turn. Shall I just get Reem of it? Instead of Yuna? Hmm. So all my damage that goes in personally has to be directed at him. Too easy. They can link as well. Uh, yeah. I'll save you. Oh, well, she's fine. Uh, as long as I keep them away from her because she's got go. range, the counters won't happen. So that's kind of good. So she's half at 100. 25, 128,317 ish. 18. <laughs> he's, he's half at 180,000. Oh, that's wrong. 170,172. Yikes. It's a big HP differential here. I'm not sure I appreciate. Roar! Uh, Helix strike! <laughs> now! Alistair! <clears throat> My turn. I'm reading everything wrong. I was reading his current HP. Not his actual max HP. Oh well. <laughs> Good job, Sam. It's not that you're bad at maths. It's just that you're bad at maths with the wrong numbers. Charging! Let's get a defense buff up. Ha! <laughs> it's not that I was bad at math. I was reading the wrong number of the two. <laughs> I was wrong with the start. <laughs> Very well. All right, we got our big buff. I might just use Twilight Blade on you this time. Uh, there. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. All right. Just to make sure that's not a thing. You got balance down as well, which is pretty nice. Pretty tasty. I don't have any passions or anything going on here. You got this! <laughs> Leave it to me! The question is who I want to be playing backup. There! Oh, with mo only mouth being gone on. Warboss is seven Anguis, a leader of the Stellrider and one of the Awakeners, wields an enormous lance. Yes, we know, it's a very big lance. We don't like to brag, though. Not on my watch! Oh! If you cannot hear her! Acropos Blade! <clears throat> okay, so. <clears throat> Not today! <clears throat> Crescent Mirror actually straight it's up guards turn. against that. Lush! Okay. Just gotta remember those totals. So we need 100, 120k more for you, and essentially 120k more for you. So we're we're roughly at the same totals, I guess. I'm assuming we should end this with an S class extravaganza as well. When I think about it. Blood and Iron Chancellor wills an Ebon Sword that only the ruler of the gnomes is capable of brandishing. I want the extra AP. If I don't get it, I am going to get it, if you know what I mean. Switch. I'm up. I'll just choose a different time to get it. Go wild! Crazy hunt! I got this. <laughs> I would literally reload the save. I go again. You're mine! <clears throat> it's down! An opening! Ready yourself! Yeah. I'm going! That was actually a good mix of damage, but we are a bit worried about the amount of impedes we can get off here. A 
I'll leave it to you. Leave it to me. Everyone's switching in. I cannot hit. I mean, I have a 60% e impede on a normal attack. Just to point out. Lush. Let's get him. It's mine. <laughs> you want to escape? Perish. Let's go. <laughs> no one perished this day. They did get whomped a bit though and sent to the back rows here. So I've almost got 100k off of you. So we're 100k left here. And 100k left here. <laughs> This is getting complicated! <laughs> this is very complicated indeed. Huh. <clears throat> there! They're mine! Uh, Let's go! Zero, what are you saying? What do I want to use? What do I want to use? Roar! Gold Dragon Formation! I'm up! Hey, Daddy. Roar! Uh, Helix Strike! My turn. Who's my real target here, you know? Tag out! I'll handle it. Charging! Green's tanking. Yeah. My turn. Uh, <laughs> I'm a bit worried by the amount, of the differential of the <laughs> damage that's being given out here. Let's go. Roar! Heal <gasps> uh, strike! I may be going now. a little bit too much in on Osborne. Please. Too easy. Come, Maiden. Ah! As you wish. No, Crescent Mirror. Oh, counter. Nope. My turn. Yeah, looking at the percentage of HP bars, of course, uh, we are. Um, well in on Chancellor Osborne at this point in time. There's still 70k. Thankfully, Crescent Mirror attack, Arcus, you know, affects okay. everything. Here I go! Chuck. <laughs> Very well. I'm thankful you didn't have all camps or anything like that. <sighs> there! They're mine! I'm up! Go wild! Crazy hunt! It's How are we turn. really supposed to let this damage eke out between everyone, you know? Oh my god, his move down's horrific! Wait, he couldn't actually attack! <laughs> Reed, just poke! To your knees. <laughs> oh, what? I should have shut up! Turn. Kurt's being confused. He did have all cancel! <laughs> Why do I jinx myself in these ways? God damn it! <laughs> ha! Not on my watch! Yeah. <laughs> An opening! Yeah. I shall go. Okay, I need to heal Kurt. 
but also my buffs went. Charging! I'm up! On a lot of people who were in range. See, the reason this battle's actually taking long, if I were just beating them yeah. up, fine. But because I'm trying to hit it. a blooming percentage thing, like exactly, My that's turn. screwing with absolutely everything. I think everyone gets that though. It's very annoying though. If it was just Let's defeating go. them, Leanne Sandlot would be dead already, right? It's the only way to look at it. So we're 75k and 75k away. But then we still need him close enough to do a crazy special. How irritating is that? There! Thank you. It's my turn. Roar! <sighs> Helix strike! <sighs> Not on my watch! <laughs> wow, Reem protecting Altina so much. I like it. <sighs> Too easy. I'll save you. Thanks. Oh, more HP than he lost. Now. The combo is here. I mean, that does affect all and gives everyone CP and all. I just want to hit this. Arcus, activate. It's my turn. Okay. Stupid amounts of HP. So we're 50k away. I guess you're next. Arcus, activate! Not on my watch! <laughs> I mean, technically, I shouldn't actually shining, but I think everyone actually does stuff outside of range anyway. Thanks. So I can't counter no matter what. It's my turn! He actually did all cancel my stuff. What? He did all cancel my CP up. Unless that ran out. Wait, she's healed. God damn it! <laughs> I can't walk good. No, I can't actually. I'm fine walking good. Roar! Uh, healing strike! <laughs> it's down! Yeah. I actually got much better at walking good, so it's fine. Very well. Green seems to be the target. Go wild! Crazy hunt! Very well. 50k. Quite a lot of k. <laughs> it's down! They're mine! <laughs> Ruth, you won't escape! Who'd have thought you'd be the weaker one? Yeah. Shush! Too easy! Come, maiden! As you wish! Uh, <laughs> Don't give up! Thank you. Not today! <laughs> That's what I gotta worry about, attacks like that. My turn. In terms of S crafts now, who has all arena S crafts? Because they're getting really spread out and I don't like it. Arcus, activate. Huh. It's my turn. I can't reach. Here I go! 
Yuna's still blind. I mean, everyone's HP is fine. I'm worried about casting shinings, actually. You got this. <laughs> Leave it to me. I switch people in and then I go, it's the best thing I can think of is to actually be able to suction them or move them myself. That's what I'm looking at currently. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> Now's our chance! It's mine! Uh, My turn! You're so annoying! Go away, people! Uh, there. <clears throat> Let's go! <laughs> it's fine, Daddy can't walk good either. I inherited it from him. Go wild! Crazy hunt! <laughs> Everyone with the weird emotes. I'm up! Was there that much, like, telling me what to do going on? <laughs> Roar! Uh, healing strike! It's down! I explain why I'm slow. I'll just... My turn. I imagine Reen's the one with the golden gun for knocking this out at the right speed here. But I can't be certain. Riona, activate. Fire! <clears throat> now! Don't attack Don't Daddy! Me. <laughs> I guess he hasn't got serious when I think about it. An opening. Yes. I'll leave it to you. I'm up. Yeah, she have been losing some HP. I will admit. Not great. Good critical. My turn. Good job. Let's go. Okay, so forty K thirty ish K. <laughs> Quick, get the calculators out. <laughs> I need my calculators. Roar! Ah! <gasps> uh, strike! My turn. Charging! Ha! I almost wish I had save states right now. Rebecca uses them profusely when she plays games. <laughs> okay, she's out of range. It's fine, it's fine, fine. It's fine, fine, fine. That ain't too easy. My turn. Okay, so again, 120... 128k. So we're 30k away. <sighs> 18,500, no, yeah, 185,000, so we're 34k away. <laughs> this is not fun! <laughs> Go wild! Crazy hunt! My turn! Math battles of the centuries! Math battles? <laughs> I shall go. I think they're in the same criteria now. Activate Bragara. Destroy. <laughs> now. You hitting Daddy? An opening. <laughs> oh, Daddy's HP. It's my turn. Okay. 
Okay, so... 15k. Still 20... 30k. I don't want to walk in melee range with her. I really don't right now. Okay, in terms of my S-Craft, that does affect all. It is para SSS. If I get Ash to cast a Saintly Force on Breen to up his strength, even though he actually has strength large anyway, actually, at the moment, he should be fine. I think it's up to Reen. But I don't want to move Reen from his position. That makes sense, right? But then there's people like Kurt in a weird range. Arcus activate! Uh, <laughs> so glad you are here, Ash! Not today! No, don't hit her! Stop it! I got this. <laughs> okay. Um, so, <laughs> 128k, so we're, we're, we're close. If I were to use Dead Man's Dart, I'm pretty sure they'd both be at a fine amount of HP. And then I just instantly break, I instantly do it. Got a little something for you. Bullseye! <laughs> It's down! Don't touch anyone! <laughs> Do it! My mind is clear. My blade, My blade empty. empty. Now! now. Oh. Ha! Action slash! Shredded lead! <laughs> You're quite tenacious. Most impressive. Got him. Got him. Emote mode saved. Save them all. <laughs> Release the citizens. AP increased by 10. <laughs> I'm shaking. <laughs> it's like, oh God, I don't want to miss this and do it again. Ugh. How is this old man so strong? He's every bit as strong as the legendary Steel Maiden. Is it his hundred form military combat? No, it's more than that. The power of two knights of the Stalwitter and the Blazing Demon combined is immense. Yes, and not to mention the Divergent Blade Angbar, and their Radiant Star Formation. <sighs> I knew I wouldn't have an easy time going against them. Your speed remains as impressive as ever, Duvali. It's not quite enough to break through our Radiant Star Formation, though. Gotta admit, I'm actually having a bit of fun here. But you could stand to turn up the heat, Crow. Come on, get your divine knight out here. Yeah, sure, because I take orders from you. So much for throwing numbers at the problem. Those two combat shells are more than we bargained for. Not to mention her. Seriously, mind cutting us a little slack? D 
do forgive me. I hate to have to break such a lovely lady's heart. I'm afraid you won't be outdoing us at this stage. And our reinforcements will soon be arriving. It seems we'll need to prepare a number of guest rooms for your very lengthy stay. Ugh, father! The finale draws near. Now, what will you do? You are still the Great Twilight's ultimate sacrifice. If you were to release its tremendous power sealed within you, you might even stand a chance at winning. Listen, asshole. No! You can't! Don't listen to this stupid old man! <sighs> oh? I assume this is no attempt at surrender. Not at all. Though it's unfortunate that I've been chosen by the curse, that's the very reason I'm able to see a way out of all this. <sighs> what are you... Gaius! Emma! They're here! Got it. Understood. Celine, I need your help. We're going to open a gate right over Gaius' stigma. Right! I'm on it! A one-way teleportation gateway? No. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> now that's clever. I recognize that voice. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. The Azure Abyss. Vita Clotilde. <laughs> Perfect timing. I must admit, even I never considered the possibility. The Second Dominion's partitions. Why is it all the way up there? Clever. They're coming. Is that the Bobcat? Josette! She really made it! And that silver ship! The Liberal and Crossbell teams mentioned it. An airship exclusively for Dominion use. Merkaba Unit 8, a gift passed down from my master. Brandy? Just in time, Agate. I'm a general as well. Now you guys show up? Had to make sure our entrance was dramatic enough. Are you okay, Reen? I am now. Principal, Vita, we really owe you one. <laughs> well, we never could have pulled it off without Thomas. We will hold the enemy here. It's time to make your retreat. Yes, ma'am! Lend me a hand. On it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! 
That's what I wanted to see. Wait, I'm coming with you. You may not be able to respond to me, but I should still be able to pilot you. What the? <sighs> oh, right. I'm still in human form. Celine, I need your help. Okay. I'll manipulate the core mana. Even if Balamar's consciousness is gone, you should be able to sync with him. Just focus your mind. Right. Sorry, Valimar. I'm the reason you're like this. But if you can somehow hear me, lend me your strength. So that we might create a better tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you, old friend. Now rise! Valimar, the Ashen Knight! Thank goodness. He got Million back! <laughs> now there's a sight for sore eyes. We couldn't have done it without you. And as for everyone's soul dots... There! I'll help you teleport them over! Now we're talking! Quickly now, everyone! <sighs> uh, what fun it's been, General. I hope to see your skills improve even further. Alas, we have reached our pinnacle. But yours may well be of a far greater height. The Steel Maiden's Divine Knight! And the Chancellor's! <laughs> and your chances of escape keep getting slimmer. Zalber Soldat? This isn't looking good. Take cover behind the Divine Knight and Soldats! Though far from a solo effort, I must commend you for reclaiming your knight. But you can feel it, can't you? Your fate is no longer one you can escape. Yeah. i felt it since the moment I became a sacrifice. Each and every Awakener has a path they must follow. An inescapable destiny. And any attempt to stray from that path warps fate even further. That's what you meant by the true story, isn't it, Vita? That's right. The very story whose ending I tried to change at the Infernal Castle. Via the ritual to restore the Great One, whose power had been divided among the Divine Knights. If I recall, that ritual was known as a rivalry, correct? Close. The rivalry of the Seven, to be more precise. A ritual that can only be performed while the world stands on the brink of destruction. Then, the Great Twilight was just setting the stage. 
So the ultimate purpose of that whole farce was to revive the Great One? Yes, precisely. <laughs> Though I wouldn't call it a farce. These rivalries are supposed to be one hell of a show. And I want to see them. No matter what it takes to make them happen. You're sick. At this point, we don't have the luxury of uncovering their motives. Agreed. With my brother in control of the Auric Knight, all of the preparations are complete. Yeah, and there's no going back now. Be that as it may, I choose to defy my fate. And I want to do so with all of you. Friends, comrades, and students alike. So that Milliam's sacrifice won't be in vain. And above all else, so that I never lose myself again. <sighs> Instructor. We're all with you. That's right. Even if it seems like all is lost. We're the ones who decide our fate, and no prophecy or evil scheme is going to stop us. If you wish to struggle against the inevitable, then so be it. The blood you shed shall only serve as further kindling for the rivalries. Merkaba Unit 2 has detected multiple hostiles, and they're closing in fast! We've got to get out of here, quick! Emma, Celine, Gaius, if you would. Of course. Everyone, focus your power. We'll teleport you all at once. May our wings take us from the darkest abyss to the sky's embrace. I have high expectations of you as well. After all, only true miracle workers could stop Operation Jormungand at this point. Hmm. It seems you've anticipated a fair amount of our plan already. To make up for your loss of Instructor Reen and Milliam, allow me to grant you a small gift. Meal Mirage. That's the name of our operation. <laughs> a fine name indeed. I do believe I'd enjoy one final game with you. Apart from the rivalries. Now's our chance! Get moving! I'll take point. Everyone follow me. We're right behind you. Starting to regret this heavy ass soldat. Is that sunlight? It is. Dawn must be breaking. Our biggest takeaway from that? Josette, greater than McBurn. I'll leave you with that thought. There you are. Now, let's make ourselves scarce. like the Merkaba Unit 8. Man, they sure fixed that thing up quick. <sighs> A church ship? If the Septian Church wants to provoke the Empire, they've done quite a good job of it. <laughs> so they managed to outfox the Blood and Iron Chancellor, the Steel Maiden, and even Enforcer Number One? Though he had the Golden Rakshasa and multiple Dominion on his side. It certainly seems that Reen person is quite the lucky devil, doesn't it? 
<laughs> Ironic you should say that, considering the fate he's been given. And their troubles are only just beginning. Yep. All the main players are finally on the stage. Only a matter of time now until we kick open the gates of hell and set this world ablaze. Yes. The Divine Knights are assembled, and Jormungan stirs awake. This story's rushing headlong to its climax. Forgive me, my lady. Reen. Milliam. It's all come to this. Everything's come together for this moment. No matter how faint your hopes are, no matter how certain despair is. This is your final challenge, Reen. Will you and Class 7 rise to meet it? And so... <laughs> I hate to say, like, our interlude segment comes to an end. <laughs> Because that's what it is. We completed a first act, a first big lengthy act, and then we get the payoff, as Trells seems to do nowadays. Fragments, a shadow blade has ended. We've saved our instructor. We now have our forces and their forces. It seems the rivalry of the Seven is about to take place. I don't think we'll be racing to the end, as a certain someone said, <laughs> because this is Trails. But we'll sure talk to all the NPCs along the way as we continue on and find out what on earth is next. Oh, up oh, rewards! Okay, I got 10 AP for repelling Osborne Aerian Road, 10 for saving Reem from the workshop, and 4 for repairing the pendant, the most important thing of all. We also got to our next rank, B1! And got a revolution. Good times. I save. But I will admit, there's one thing I've worried about since we started that whole segment when it said that all quests, etc., would disappear. I, I kind of like thought about this once we were in the dungeon because, of course, dungeons are a good time to think, even though, you know, let's play talky, stream going on, and all that, chat rolling along. And I suddenly thought in the middle of all that, oh crap, I did kill the thing in the forest. Can I go back? I mean, they sh it should hang around, right? That's what cryptids do. <laughs> I mean, they don't give e AP, so cool, but... <laughs> I don't think they give AP. I don't remember them giving AP. Have I lost a lost heart? <laughs> That's what they usually give as we proceed. Two days later. <sighs> Where am I? Oh, right. This must be Emma's hometown. <sighs> Tina, guess I've kept her pretty worried all this time. She must have fallen asleep watching over me. Instructor Reen? Oh, morning, everyone. Sorry, looks like I overslept a bit. And we have so much to talk about, too. I was almost afraid you'd never wake up! You guys... She's not the only one. We've all been ill at ease. Even after we managed to escape, the moment we made it to Aaron, you were out for nearly an entire day. We've all been taking turns waiting ever faithfully by your bedside. Old and new Class 7 alike. And I, for one, relish the opportunity to gaze longingly at your sweet sleeping face, like a vision into my future. Really, Muse? I mean, really? <laughs> Floozy's gonna flooze. Anyway, stop coddling him already. 
The guy's a grown-ass man. So you say, but you were just as eager as the rest of us to stand watch. Oh yeah, I thought for sure you'd just ditch, going on and on about how much you don't care. Oh, it was just so sweet. He sat right by your side, the very picture of concern. Like hell I did! Quit making shit up, you damn snitches! <laughs> it's good to have you back with us, Ash. I wasn't sure if you were okay, let alone if I'd ever see you again. Class 7 just wouldn't be the same without you. <laughs> well, what can I say? Shit happens. Besides, I wasn't the one chained up in a workshop. Compared to you, I've had it easy. <laughs> I suppose so. And Muse, I know this puts you in a difficult spot, but either way, thank you for coming back. You still have your own moves to play. I understand that. But for now, I'm glad you've decided to be here with us. As am I. Though frankly, even I'm not quite sure how it happened. I suppose I have no choice but to stay right at your side until I find out. Glad to hear it. Ugh, there she goes again. <laughs> but it wouldn't be the same without her. As for you two, Yuna, Kurt, it seems you spared no effort coming to my aid. I can't thank you enough for that. <laughs> oh. Instructor. Well, I mean, we kinda owed you, you know? You've come to our rescue plenty of times. It's only right we return the favor. If there's one thing you've taught us, it's to think and act for ourselves. Having the opportunity to put those lessons into practice was an experience unlike any other. But even then, we owed the bulk of our success to the old Class 7, and everyone else who had our backs. Still, thank you all the same. <sighs> Allie? <laughs> Rise and shine, Sleepy Bunny. Why is everyone here? Oh. Good morning, Altina. I can only imagine all the struggles and doubts you must have gone through. But you never stopped moving forward with everyone else. I'm proud of you. It's good to be back. Instructor Reen! I... I... All right. Seems we're all forgetting the most important part. Maybe it's a little unfair of us to steal the first chance, but nevertheless, shall we? Welcome back, Instructorine! Makes your heart feel so good! Those kids. New Class 7 are the best. A lot of people to talk to, that's for sure. Oh, new fancy gear, eh, Reen? Well, that sure suits you. The others from my village helped prepare it for you. That old coat of yours was practically shredded to pieces. This new one even has enchantments woven into it that will help you keep your manor under control. Grandmother, Vida and Celine all helped out. It won't sort everything out on its own, but you might as well keep it on. I'm not sure if the design will suit your taste, but don't look a gift horse in the mouth. Seriously, it's great. I really appreciate all the work you must have put into it. I doubt I can ever thank all of you enough. You're most welcome. 
That could take some getting used to, but I think it'll work. <laughs> yeah, it goes better with a new hair colour, and that's the entire point, isn't it? It's cool. I like it. Because we're sharing hair now. The white one was cute, but this is a charm all of its own. I like the black better too. Of course, because we're matching. It's a little too much for my taste. <laughs> you can pull it off though, Reed. Yes, it isn't so much the clothes, but how you wear them. This ain't a fashion show, but you don't look half bad. <laughs> all jokes aside, it really does suit you. It's like it's pretty durable too. It should serve you well. It's perfect for setting out on a new journey. Yeah, maybe you're right. I think I like it too. Thanks again, everybody. I hate to put a downer on things, but there's something we need to be clear about. There's no cure for the curse that's affecting me. I'll stay the sacrifice until the great twilight ends. I guess it's my destiny. All this was decided for me ever since I was little. Completely out of your control as well. Instructor! Damn it. That doesn't mean you're going to give up, does it? No, of course not. I'm the one who started all this, so I have to see it through. I'll keep moving forward, do what I believe is right up until the bitter end. This curse, my becoming an awakener, the rivalries. It may feel overwhelming sometimes, but I'll see how it all plays out. Well said. I guess we need to look into what Crow told us about. We're officially off the radar. I think we're safe. Phew, that was crazy. I was about to have a heart attack. Well done, both of you. Now let's find somewhere to land. Actually, I think this is where we part ways. Crow? Huh? You're not coming with us? Nah, it just doesn't feel right, you know? Besides, with the rivalry starting, this is no time to be making friends. You mean... You're talking about the fate that awaits all awakeners? I was never trying to make friends in the first place. Come on, it's high time we left. That really is a shame. Aw, oh, you're both so cruel. I wouldn't mind welcoming you into our ranks for a while. Dooley, in particular, would be well worth training myself. You would end up ridiculous. Because when during that middle of that battle, I was just like, Principal Aurelia's here, she's gonna screw everyone up. She does seem like the time to respond to a little tough love. How about letting us pick up where Alien Road and Leon left off? You two are far too unpredictable for that. Avina, you're not even a swordsman. Let me ask you something. Crow, how much do you know about the rivalries? Probably about as much as you. You feel it too, right? The knowledge that our destiny is coming in hot. And where it's going to all go down. You mean, so it's true after all? <laughs> well, if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Don't forget, I was the one that led you to become an Awakener. I'd be more than willing to stay by you until you're ready to go. Uh... <laughs> it's a tempting offer, but I'll have to decline. If it went along with you, I'd be giving up my life in a very different way. Well, that is a shame, but it was nice seeing you again, Crow. Right back at ya. Do you think you guys could not flirt right on top of me like this? Well, if you want to know about the rivalry, you should head over to the Spirit Shrine. A place where I had a near miss with you when I was Sieg. I'm thinking of checking it out myself. You mean the mysterious shrines? You mean the ones with the trial chests, which were a ridiculously high level? <laughs> that we obviously couldn't do yet. Yes, the gnomes previously used them for refining their Zemurian ore. During the Civil War, several of them were spotted in the eastern regions of the Empire. There was even one nearby Legram. Our clan assisted them up until 900 years ago, right? So I've heard. It was before my time, so I don't know as much as I would like. 
One of the duties of the Wandering Witches has been to monitor the shrines for any irregularities. They serve as more than simple refineries for Zemurian ore. I see. There have been reports of strange lights and other phenomena in the surrounding areas too. Are we any closer to finding the place Crow was talking about? It's supposed to be connected to where you fought him as your Siegfried, right? I should narrow things down. It must be where we went on field exercise in Le Maire. Right, I can't think of anywhere else that would fit the bill. That was back when you were searching for Milliam, yes? Yeah, on Brioni Island off the coast of Ordis. The soul shrine there could hold the answers we're looking for. Crow's probably investigating as we speak. I want to get out there and find out what he knows as soon as possible. As for you guys... Hey, you're not about to tell us to stay behind, are you? He's not that much of a dumbass, don't worry about it. Oh god, look at those eyes of Altina, it's like a bit evils. Reen, you wouldn't be that stubborn, would you? You've always tended towards self-sacrifice, but there are limits to how much you can do on your own. We won't allow you to go through this all alone. We'll just end up making the same mistake again if we're not there to keep you in line. Hey, I'm well aware of how I've behaved in this kind of situation before, but... This curse isn't something we can afford to ignore. We've got no way of knowing when it might make me go berserk. I'm just trying to keep you all safe in case that happens again. Ugh, how annoying. You think we can't keep you in line? Give us some credit. Your students brought you back to your senses at the workshop. There's no reason that wouldn't work a second time. Well, we didn't exactly do that alone. I'm confident we'll be able to handle it, though. Yeah, we've already done it once, so it'll be easier to knock some sense into you the next time. Tough love can be fun, too, once in a while. Ah, youth. You have to have known this is how everyone would respond. Reem, we're class seven. Don't you dare underestimate us. We've been through countless battles up until now. You know what we're capable of. Even when you and the Sword of the End fell into the deepest darkness, we found a way to bring you back. That place, it was so much like the darkness Miriam and I were born into. After facing that, I do not fear anything. I get the work we're ready to depart. I'm still getting used to our handles, but it's better to have some backup, right? Plus, we set it up so we can take the Panzer Solets too, not just Valimar. Well, that's awesome! That would be a big help. Thank you, everyone. With you, I know I can... No. We're all going to push our way forward. Together. Right! right. Noise.